Hi guys, this is Lauren from laurencerayoga.com. Today I'm going to bring you a little sequence that you can do when you're feeling super, super tired, um, a little bit run down, um, maybe at the end of the day, or maybe even at the beginning of the day if you want to just stretch and, and work it out. Um, this is something you don't need a yoga mat for necessarily. If you've just got some space on the floor, you can do, we're gonna be pretty much laying down, well we are gonna be laying down for the whole sequence. So it's just a short few minutes of um, stretches and movement you can do just to help yourself relax and unwind um, and give your body a really nice overall stretch. So we're gonna start by lying on our back. Knees bent, feet on the floor, hands can be facing up or facing down, whatever feels comfortable. I'm going to close the eyes here and take a couple of moments to centre ourselves, to start tapping into the breath, to start to slow the mind and the body down a little bit, especially if today's been a bit hectic. You can exhale out through the mouth. I often find that feels really good when I'm a little bit tense. Inhaling deeply through the nose. <sighs> exhale, sigh it out. Bring the hands onto the belly here and just allow your hands to rise on an inhale. So inhale, fill the body up. Allow the belly to be soft. Exhale. Sigh it out. Check in and see how the forehead feels. Make sure it's nice and soft. Allow the teeth to just be relaxed. Allow the shoulders to feel heavy on the floor. Notice how it feels to have the soles of your feet on your mat or on the floor. And just watch the breath coming in and exhaling out. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling, letting it all go, letting go of any tension. On your next inhale, we're going to reach the feet long. Bring the hands above the head and take a full body stretch. As if you're just waking up in the morning, maybe you are. Reach, 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 reach. And then bring the hands back down. Inhale your right leg up to your chest. Take hold of it round the front of the knee. Gently guide it towards the right armpit to open the hips. Not forcing it here, simply guiding. Flex the feet here to help protect the knee. And on every exhale, draw that knee a little closer to your armpit. Take one more breath here. Then lengthen that leg long. Bring the left knee into your chest, give it a hug. Keep that foot flexed and draw the knee towards the left armpit. Allowing the shoulders to sink into the mat. Every inhale, filling the lungs with new, fresh prana, life force. And on every exhale, hugging that thigh a little closer. Then on your next inhale, lengthen the legs long. Reach up above. Once more, take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. 
and keeping the hips where they are, take a side bend towards the right top corner of the mat. So you're making an arch with the top of your body. From here you can either stay here if this stretch feels good, keep reaching with that left hand, or you can bring both feet to the right corner of the mat. So you're making a banana shape here. Keep pushing that left hip away and then left ankle maybe crosses over right ankle as you deepen that stretch. Take two more nice deep breaths here. Keep breathing into the left hand side of the body. Keep keeping that stretch going. And then on your next inhale, come back to centre. Reach tall. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Make that arc with the top of your body. Pushing the right hip, the hips out towards the right this time. Maybe bringing both feet to the bottom left corner of the mat and possibly deepening by crossing that ankle over. Keep reaching and stretching through that right side of the body. Take one more breath here. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, come back to centre, bring the hands to the side, bring both knees into the chest this time, give yourself a hug and maybe rocking from side to side, perhaps pausing on one side of the back then the other, gently massaging the back. And bring both feet to the floor. Keep the left foot firmly planted on the floor. Bring the right leg up. If you can, bring the hands behind that thigh. And keeping the shoulders on the floor, press the heel towards the ceiling and the toes come towards the face. Taking a hamstring stretch here. Not forcing it, but if the body allows, maybe bringing the leg a little closer to you, maybe straightening up through the back of that knee. If the foot's bent, that's okay. The knee's bent, that's fine. Keep pushing that heel towards the ceiling to get a stretch down that, the back of that hamstring. Relax the shoulders. One more breath here. And slowly release that foot to the floor. And we'll take that to the other side. So left leg comes long. Interlink the fingers behind that thigh. Push the heel into the ceiling. Toes come towards the face. Keep lengthening through the back of that leg as much as you can without pulling. Shoulders relax onto the mat. On every exhale, see if you can lengthen the back of that leg a little more. Keep pushing that heel towards the ceiling. And take one more deep breath. and gently release that leg down. Bring the right foot over onto the left knee here. We're going to come in to thread the needle. From here, you may find that this is enough of a stretch and you can stay here. Keep the feet flexed to protect the knee. Or you can bring the hands and interlink them behind the thigh or maybe in front of the shin. Keep that bottom foot flexed and start to draw the thigh towards you, keeping the shoulders on the floor, keeping the head on the floor. And if you want to deepen this stretch, you can use the right elbow and push it into the right leg, push that thigh away from you. So 
This is a nice hip stretch. Take one more deep breath. And slowly bring that foot to the floor. And we'll take that to the other side. Left foot crosses over our right leg. Bring that thigh towards you, keeping the feet flexed. Either hands come in front of the shin or behind the thigh. Gently push that left leg away with the left elbow if you want a deeper stretch. But this may well be enough for you without that. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Take one more deep breath. And release that foot to the floor. Keep the feet together. Pick the feet, pick the hips up and drop them to the left hand side. Allow the right knees to rock over. Open the arms and gaze down that left arm. So you come into your twist. one more breath here and then very slowly bring the knees back to centre move the hips over to the right this time drop the knees to the left and gaze down that right arm Take one more breath here. And gently bring the knees back up to centre. Centre the hips. And we'll come into happy baby now. So bring left foot up, right foot up. Bring the hands in between the thighs. Take hold of either the inside of the feet, the big toes, the outside of the feet. I like to take the inside. Think about pushing the soles of the feet towards the ceiling, but drawing the thighs back and down. So the hips are nice and wide. Maybe you want to rock a little side to side here. Keep the shoulders on the floor. And gently bring the feet back down. Give yourself a hug. And then stretch the legs out long. We're going to come into Shavasana here. Take a few moments just to figure out how the body feels. Palms can face up. Feet can be as wide as the mat. Check in with the forehead. Allow it to be soft. Slide the shoulders down the back. Relax the arms. Relax the hips. Allow the ankles to gently be supported by the mat and the feet to flop out either side. Notice if you're holding any tension in any areas of the body here and see if you can send your breath to that area to release it gently. And when you're fully relaxed and comfortable, you can take a couple of minutes here to absorb your practice. To allow the thoughts to slow down, to allow the breath to slow down.
And then when you're ready, start to bring your attention back to the surroundings around you. Start to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes and gently begin to wake your body up. Bring your attention to your breath, taking the deepest breath you've taken all day and then sighing it out through the mouth. <sighs> Stay here for a couple of moments or you can bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring the hands to heart center. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. Namaste.